Welcome to Transparent Gallery. I'm Danny Clinch, and we are in Asbury Park. And we've come up with an idea to do a couple of episodes that we're gonna call Locals and Icons. And so we're asking a bunch of the local musicians that we know, folks who've come here and hung out with us and played music with us on the stage here, to come in and pick out a photograph they love of an artist that they love, and we would have a discussion about it. I would talk about what the assignment was maybe and the good story behind it. And they'll talk about how that artist has inspired them and what they love about them. And then they're gonna perform a song, a cover song by that artist. So it's gonna be really exciting. We have a great bunch of people that are gonna contribute and we appreciate you coming out. Thank you very much. So uh, here we are again, we're uh, with the Tangiers Blues Band. Uh, we've been together 21 years and it's always been fun and we've uh, tried to make some blues out of uh, any song we come across, which is always fun. And one of the earlier ones we did, which is actually a blues song, in, is Johnny Cash. Right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we started with something easy. <laughs> that was a blues. Then we got to Lady Gaga. <laughs> uh, but we, who, you know, who chose uh, the Johnny Cash song and, and what was the, how about the arrangement? I know, I love the fact that, you know, Chris and King will take a song like Pump It Up, uh, you know, or like um, this Johnny Cash song, uh, you know, or My Sharona, for example, yeah. and we turn it into a blues, you know, like you guys would riff on the arrangement and have some fun, maybe you'd come with it, maybe you would, but uh, I guess... Maybe not to this specific song because it is a blues, but what about um, that sort of idea? Well, I think actually, you know, uh, one of the things that we always try to do is to try to keep our identity, you know, through, you know, these covers. So it's like, uh, you know, I certainly would never say, uh, hey, I'm a country player, right? Even though I love Luther Perkins and play an old, you know, Esquire like he does and, you know, listen to his stuff, you know, quite a bit, but I'm not a country expert. So it's like trying to take our background, our New York thing, our love of blues and punk and whatever that is. And at least for my guitar parts, that's what I'm kind of thinking. It's like, okay, you know, all right, I know I'm not going to play like Luther, but what, what, what can I add to this? And that really gives it our kind of thing, you know, which is like New York blues, which is you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. it's their thing. Well, Diego, you know, like with, uh, I mean, Johnny Cash, I think was, uh, and uh, maybe Carl or Luther, or, you know, or Perkins, were started that sort of that percussive playing. Sure. Right? Does that influence your your drumming? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, just the the feel, the the rhythmic feel that those guys played with, and how it how it blended with the rhythm section and kind of. Yeah. You know, kind of dictates the feel, and oftentimes it just kind of plays itself. You know, you just all meld together and let let the music be free, and yeah. you know, that's 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 all I think we all try to do here. So, yeah. But Johnny Cash has a history in Asbury Park, and uh, it so it goes that um, at the um, the local hotel, the Berkeley Carteret, Johnny Cash used to come and hang out there specifically. I think to get off the road, get his, get himself together. Uh, and he just loved the area, loved the Jersey Shore. And he would, people, there are stories of, of him just running into people when it was pretty desolate here, like probably in the 80s and, and earlier maybe even. Uh, but he would just come out and he would wander up and down the boardwalk, he'd wander around the neighborhood and that. Yeah, so, the other thing I love about this tune is um, that it, it, it sort of it changes up the, the vibe for, for a lot of our live shows. Um, and if, if, the, if the bar is, is ready to go, once you start playing this, they, they, they'll jump up and start dancing. There's something about them, the beat, and King kind of does a little bit of that mimic of the way that uh, Johnny Cash would, would do the rhythm structure. And the fact that, frankly, even though he was country, was rock really, but he also was kind of metal, man. And, and rock. Yeah. <laughs> rock metal. I mean, like, he, he kind of 
goes over all these different genres and everyone in some way can, can relate to it, you know? Which I think is something that, that, that is lived, carries his legacy. Absolutely. Sure. I mean, you think about what Rick Rubin did with him. And, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Now a lot of people well, know that that's yeah. the Heartbreakers on that, that Grammy. Yeah. Uh, what is it, Unchained, I guess it? That's the heartbreakers back in the month. Yeah, you can talk about him being, being punk rock. That Jim Marshall photograph of him giving the finger is yes. just like the most punk rock thing anybody's ever done at any age. Yeah. And you know, I loved Johnny Cash when I was a little kid because I had a deep voice and I used to try and do, this is Johnny Cash. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and I actually was at a talent show once and did that song as a kid, but singing a really deep voice. Not at all the way we play it now. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I remember when we were when we played at Sea Here Now, we were right over here in Bradley Park, and uh, you know, playing like Dave said, you start kicking into you know Johnny Cash, Folsom Prison, and people are just like, oh man, and they feel the blues of it and everything. And here we were facing the Berkeley Carteret, playing a Johnny Cash song. I, I'm I'm just gonna say I I may have seen. Just <laughs> Johnny right there. I actually I've always loved this picture. And you know, I think one of the things that you know I love about your photography is is like capturing that moment that you know, I, like I know that moment, right? It's like it's like right before he's going on the stage, and just that look and the feel and everything is just it's just so awesome. It's like really like a peek inside yeah. of like you know Johnny Cash's life, you know. And so it's just that I've always loved that picture. So the the, uh, the interesting thing about that photograph is that I was photographing him for a guitar magazine. Acoustic Guitar Magazine was for the cover. And so we did all these very simple portraits of him and uh, it was just, it was beautiful. Uh, and it was so much fun and spending time with him. And in fact, we asked him to play us a song so that I could photograph him playing the guitar. Right, wow. And he chose uh, Bird on the Wire by Leonard Cohen. Uh -huh. Which wow. was really pretty cool. I was already here. Deep cut. Yeah, I saw him <laughs> deep, right? He was already going deep back then, but I remember that. And um, and so after we did the session and everything was breaking down, they had a gig to do. We had done the, uh, the shoot at the venue. And I asked him, Mr. Cash, if you wouldn't mind, could I follow you around like before you hit the stage? You mind if I walk to the stage with you? And uh, he said, no, not at all. And so he was he was there hanging out in the hallway and I came by and I'd been just kind of documenting him hanging out. And they literally were saying, you know, I could hear them in the venue saying, you know, the band starting off and ladies and gentlemen. Wow. You know, and, uh, uh, and so right before that I had a, a kind of a blurry photo or maybe it was right after, but I got that shot and it, it, it became my favorite. And it was like all of like three seconds, whereas I spent like you know, an hour or so in this fortress. But right afterwards he took me, took his guitar and he was like, whoa, like he looked right at me, like, ah, you know, right, right. and just busted my chops a little bit and then off he went. So uh, it really was a uh, magical moment for me. And this is what I love, the document, you know, it's like you couldn't really plan it, it just happened. It yeah. just feels so real. You feel like you're right there. Um, so. Well, you have a mix of that in your photography, though. Some are pros, yeah. but what do you like better of yourself? You find you like the ones that are just that moment that happens as opposed to the post. I mean, I like, your, I like you know, the different challenges. I mean, I, I've done portraits at Bonnaroo and the natural light thing that I had done for 20 years. I did the portraits at the Grammys, which was very lit and controlled. And uh, I have to say, I do love the document. I love being uh, somewhere with someone where they're creating their art, where they're just making music and capturing those moments. So really, uh, really important to me. And I, I've always said that I would rather have a moment I would forfeit the lighting, I would forfeit uh, the composition for just a great moment that really makes you feel like you, you caught something special. Yeah, and all, I, I always get the feeling from a lot of these photos that they they don't even know that they're there. It feels like right. a really natural moment they don't realize they're being photographed. It really comes out strongly. Transparent clinch. <laughs> Fortunately, you're not that way on stage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Johnny Cash, Folsom Prison Blues.
seen the sunshine since I don't know when Well, I'm stuck in Folsom Prison Time keeps dragging on I hear that lonesome whistle I hang my head and Oh, <laughs> 